So this one here, it's just a bike the guy has bought recently. It's been a bit of crash damage. It's an 8 free load. They look, they're a bit poxy, so we're putting a 48 tank on it for him. It's got a lower bar. The front wheel is damaged. We're going to put a Vance and Hines um, set of short shots on it. Little tank, um, black out a few little bits and pieces. Cut the rear guard down, put some three in one indicators on there with the tail light, brake light, stop light in them. Some little indicators on the front and send it. It'll be a completely different looking bike. It'll, be, it'll look heaps cool, the black wheels and the little tank, and especially that exhaust, that'll look epoxy. Yeah, so yeah. Put epoxy wood on there at the back, so I'll take the top of the shocks off. Epoxy yeah. tends to be my favourite word lately. Like, well, you like. just said no, 83 is epoxy. Are we allowed to say that? Or? Yeah, we can say that. We can say that? Okay. We can say whatever we want. Yeah. yeah. But they're not epoxy when they leave here. No, no, it won't be a killer. <laughs> So you got some new bars for it or? Yeah, some B-Rod bars, you yeah. Oh yeah. So we were buying a crash bike and thinking you're going to make money out of it or set yourself up with a nice cheap bike, is that a mug's game? Or? Oh look, buying crash bikes every, every now and again, that guy was just in the right spot at the right time to get that one. Mm. So the ones like that, yeah, they're good. But um, going to the auctions and everything like that, how much, how much they go for and how, how hard they make it for you to get it back on the road and everything again now. Like, check this, and check that, blah, blah, blah. Like it's, oh, mate. We, we could do it, because we can get all the parts, and probably have half the parts to fix it, but it's just too hard. What? I won't be able to undo that. <laughs> no way can I do that. No way. Sorry. You look at the pictures and everything, but when you get it home, that's when, that's when it all becomes a reality. We start pulling apart and this is broken and that's broken. And then you get it home and you go, okay, oh shit, rip the fins off the cylinder heads and, and stuff like that. And then when you go to sell it, you have to tell people it's a written off vehicle. And then people are wary of that and everything and it's not worth as much money. And it ends up, it's all exciting on the day, but it's never that exciting in the end. It's a lot harder than what it looks. Pro. Teamwork. <laughs> okay. Teamwork make the dream work. Exactly. Yeah, it is amazing. Yeah. Make it look pretty. Hey Tara, could you take these to Troy's to get painted please? Yeah, all good. Take her out of the car, great. Oh, check them out. They're yeah. cool. Thank you. be damage to a frame that you can't see yeah. with the naked eye even. Yeah. Would that be right? Yeah. And a lot of a lot of the Harleys out there now are statutory write-offs, which means you can't register again unless you get another frame anyway. Or you know, at, I've been noticing on Facebook a lot lately that there's so many water damaged bikes from Queensland. Yeah, you know, the bike's written off, the bike looks in Mac because it's only been under water for three or four days and then it's all been washed off but like far out, you know. Mate, the primary be full of water, the, the computer, it's all in there, it's all corroding, it's all turning to shit. Yeah, they've washed it and cleaned everything, but they've only washed and cleaned what you can see. There's still going to be water everywhere, everything's going to have water in it, everything will be knackered. Mm. And then you buy a written off bike anyway. I mean, I guess a lot of that goes to buying second hand Harley as well, doesn't it? I yeah, mean, it does. If you're buying it off of a... At least you can take it for a test ride. Yeah, true. It's very hard to spend money on something that hasn't even started. <laughs> mm. Just putting the brace back on, put the wheel back in. Yeah, it's going to look pretty good. The black wheels already change it up a lot. Right, I'm going to put you on the spot. How good's this stroker Watson dude? 
Oh, legend. Hey. Shout out, mate. Thank you for Good on you, Stroker. liking all our um, movies. All clips. your kind comments. What a legend. Absolutely. I think we sent him a t shirt that, that, aren't we, or something? Well, I'm waiting for his address. Send us your address, mate. Serious. John's shouting you a t shirt and hat. Ha ha! I'll send him one of mine then. Yeah. <laughs> What's left to go, Rob? Oh. Not my, oh my god. I'll start again. John, you, you made me feel a little Are you emotional. okay, mate? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Good one came over me. It's a tough um, question, I know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> what are you making of that? Poxy grips off it, and then we're going to put the front and rear guards on. We just got back from Troy, like a um, sort of advanced line short shot. and everything like that all worked out pretty cool and how we had the, the handlebars this looks heaps better you know yeah heaps neat eh? trimmed off the knees yeah man it was all just a starting point eh? we had those mirrors here the black ones uh, um, cool. the front guard looks way better the wheels just look a million times better black yeah makes a difference considering that little, <coughs> little girly bike came in us yeah I know he's gonna 
pain now. <laughs> so essentially, mate, you've saved a bike. Yeah, we have. Bought another one back from the dead. We've done that quite a few bikes now. Crash ones and like all the diners that we turn into race bikes again and. Mm. Yeah, we put them in the ground too sometimes, don't worry. <laughs> These guys are just so great, honestly. Sometimes they just, just tell them to just sit down, have a rest. <laughs>